did, I think it's like, grammar. Um, I did not expect it to be so spicy. My name is Mac. I am an upcoming college sophomore and this channel is dedicated to all of my reading uh, and reading activities, my sorority life as a Zeta, my career as a content creator, and my student worker job at Arkansas State University and all things related to my girly little college life. So I just wanted to start a clip to welcome y'all to a new video. For y'all, I had to switch batteries, but I kind of just wanted to film a little video documenting my reading habits over the course of a week. Just for some context, I do work Monday through Wednesday each week in Jonesboro, 8 to 4.30, and I do have a about a 30-minute commute in the mornings and the afternoons, and sometimes a little bit more with afternoon traffic, um, but I do make that commute every day, and so I've started getting really into audiobooks. Now, I am starting this vlog at the end of a day Monday, so I don't have any clips from today, but... Today I finished listening to the audiobook I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman. Pop a little picture over here. Um, I really, really enjoyed this listen. I've been listening to it about, a, I think, almost a week exactly. Um, and I really, really enjoyed it. I just finished it this afternoon at work, so I didn't listen to it on the way home. But I had been listening to it a little bit more than when I was in the car just because I was really into it. Um, so I did not film any clips reading that or any kind of updates on it or anything. But I really, really enjoyed it. I have not yet given it a star rating because my brain is still cooking on it. I'm trying to be better about not, like, impulse rating books. I want to think about how I felt throughout the reading process and then come back and review it. So I'm still letting my brain cook and try to settle on how I felt about the book as a whole. Um, but hopefully tonight I will read a little bit more of my current reading. So I am currently reading Everything I Need I Get From You, How Fame Girls Created the Internet by Caitlin Tiffany. I have been reading this for... I want to say a little over a week and as much as I am enjoying it I'm kind of ready to get done with it because I would like to move on to something else on my shelf. I'm really trying to work through all the paper books that I have not yet physically read on my bookshelves because there's going to be so many new releases soon that I want to buy and I really just want to get through with this and move on to another one because it's June and I've only finished it's June 9th. Or sorry, it's June 10th. Oh my gosh, that's scary. It's June 10th and I've only finished one audiobook and I just finished that today. So I'd kind of like to get the ball rolling with some reading and maybe this little vlog will motivate me. If I read any more tonight, I will let y'all know. And yeah, I'm just going to keep updating y'all on how much I read during the week because I work Monday through Wednesday and Thursday I have plans with some friends and I might have some other things I might go do something this weekend, I don't really know, but I kind of just wanted to have y'all follow along as I read for the week. Good morning, y'all. We're coming in with an iPhone clip because I got ready too early, and so I have like 10 minutes before I really need to get out the door. And also, my vlog camera is packed up in my little backpack already. But uh, last night, I did finish Everything I Need I Get From You by Caitlin Tiffany, um, and I enjoyed it. I'm still kind of soaking on how I felt about it but I needed to start a new audiobook this morning while I got ready in time to um, hear it in the car so I started Teacher of the Year by M.A. Wardell I think I'm like one chapter in I think I just kind of wanted like a cute little fluffy meet cute kind of thing so I think that'll be a really quick easy like lighthearted listen hopefully um, so started that and then I have to start a new paper book tonight hopefully um but we will see I haven't really decided what paper book I want to read but it's going to be something that's already on my shelf lord knows I've got plenty of stuff to pick from because I've not read all that so yeah I will update y'all um when I get to work or when I get to my work a lot about how I'm feeling about my audiobook so far and maybe this afternoon I'll do some like wrap-up thoughts on the audiobook and the book I finished both yesterday. <laughs> Alright, good morning guys. It is 7.44 and I just got into my work parking lot and again I'm on iPhone because my camera, my little vlog camera is put up in its case in my work bag 
but I'm already 9% through teacher of the year. I think it's going to be just what I, I think it's going to be what I wanted when I picked up um, listening to She Drives Me Crazy by Kelly Quinlan a couple weeks ago, which is just like a cheesy little fluffy, happy, meet cute, like fun school setting kind of romance. Um, it's very cheesy and there's a lot of like name dropping of different like shows and things, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but it's just kind of, it is definitely going to be a cheesy romance. I should just leave it at that. But, um, I started listening this morning and then I listened on my drive through and I'm already 9% of the way through, which is impressive to me because it is only like 10 and a half hours, um, of reading. So, uh, I'm fixing to head into work for the day and, <sighs> excuse me, if I get to do any other listening, I will pop in and update y'all, but if not, I'll see you when I get home. I'm enjoying it so far, um. I'm ready to, ready to, I need a snack. I didn't eat this morning. But that was my choice because I had time, so. Hey guys, it is 1.50 in the afternoon. I've just been doing a lot of different work at the desk today. I had a lot more listening time than I thought I would because I've just been doing a lot of computer work, um, things at work by myself in the office. Um, and I have already completed 50% of teacher of the year, which is kind of crazy. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little listening update. I'm doing work on my computer and I'm listening to this on my iPad. Um, so I'm going to keep on listening and listen to it. And if I finish this today, it's going to be insane. So I'm going to keep listening while I work and listen to it on the way home in the car. And I will give y'all some more, like, better updated thoughts when I get in my car to head home for the day, so. Okay, so, hey guys, please ignore how I look right now. I just got out of the shower. I wanted to go ahead and have a hair wash tonight because I have to film at work tomorrow. So, I didn't want to be greasy if I'm going to be on camera. But, I'm sorry if you can hear my brother playing guitar in the back. <laughs> He's a little rock star. Anyways, um, I wanted to go ahead and talk to y'all about everything I wrapped up reading and listening to yesterday and then the audiobook I started today. So last night, I finally finished everything I need to get from you, How Fangirls Created the Internet as We Know It by Caitlin Tiffany. I've been just calling it everything I need to get from you because the title is so long. <laughs> but I finished this last night and let me double check my review. So I rated it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. And I picked up this book because I saw it on Emma McGowan's social media. If you don't know her, she's an influencer that goes to the University of Alabama. And I really enjoy her other content. So I kind of wanted to start looking at some of her books that she's posted online. Um, and I really only knew that it was like an internet culture type of book. And that it was very relevant in terms of examples of like with One Direction. Like I knew it was about One Direction. And I think I just thought it was going to be a little bit more of a cohesive essay. I kind of honestly felt like this book was like all over the place. It's like, I thought it was just going to be kind of like a, I don't, I don't really know what expectations I had of it, honestly. But I just felt like when reading, I felt like things, I felt like each paragraph could have been pulled out of a different article or text of some kind. I wasn't the craziest fan of the style of it. Um, I did enjoy just some of the discussion and the rhetoric around diversity in fandom culture and I really enjoyed a lot of the different examples that were kind of compared to One Direction. I think this would have been better had it been pitched just as a One Direction, One Direction fandom specific type of book. Like I felt like it more so focused on fandom dynamics and things of that nature, specifically to One Direction, than giving a great oversight into fandom culture as a whole or fandom culture and music as a whole. Like, I felt like this needed to be narrowed down a bit. So yesterday I finished listening to my audiobook as well. I finished listening to I Was Born For This by Alice Oseman, and I'm pretty sure I gave it a 4.75 out of 5 stars. So I really, really enjoyed this listen because the only other stories I've read from Alice Oseman have been in the Heartstopper universe, so I've read all the main volumes of Heartstopper that have been released, um, as well as the Nick and Charlie novella. Um, wait, no, I haven't read the novella. Anyways, 
So it was really kind of a different experience going from reading her graphic novels to listening to an audiobook of just a novel that they've written. Um, and I really, really enjoyed this hugely. I don't want to get too far into it just because I will probably talk about it in my June wrap up a lot because I really want to go into specifics of it. Um, I really enjoyed the characters. Dual perspective is not always my favorite thing. I feel like it can, it can either be really good or really bad. Um, to start off, I didn't love Angel's perspective. She just, for, I'm going to say the first third of the book at least, she was very grating to me. Like, I feel like only once we got to see her being such a ray of light to Jimmy at the concert, like, like I felt like sh her perspective was just not my favorite. I really enjoyed all of the narrative around the arc and I loved Jimmy's perspective as a character. I really really enjoyed Jimmy's chapters more than Angel's chapters throughout the rest of the book and I felt like all the arc boys were very compelling as characters. Um, I felt like some of the female characters just weren't, they didn't feel as dynamic to me other than Angel in terms of even just being side characters. Um, but that was kind of the only thing that really stood out to me as a reason not to like it was I didn't always love Angel's chapters um, and her kind of internal dialogue and the way that she reacted to things. Okay, so this morning I started listening to Teacher of the Year by, I forgot the author's name. I'll pop it up on screen. Um, and I'm 75% of the way through that because I had a lot more time at my desk today to listen to, to have, have headphones in and listen to whatever. Um, I'm enjoying it. I thought it would be a cheesy romance and it's definitely that. Um, I did not expect it to be so spicy. That's on me for not checking Storygraph reviews on it. I did not expect all of this spice. I was just driving down the interstate going about my merry business and I had to listen to like 30 minutes of spiciness. I was like, I was horrified, but I did not want to pull over just to skip through my audiobook. It was, it was a moment. Anywho, I'm enjoying the characters in that. It's been like an entertaining listen. I wouldn't say it's like one of the best books I've ever read or anything. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of great commentary on it or anything. Like, some books you just listen to because it's just what you're in the mood for. And that's definitely what this listen was. Alright guys, so I decided that I'm going to start Kate in Waiting by Becky Albertalli. Because I'm a huge Becky Albertalli fan. Like, I love her so much. But when I hit my senior year reading slump, I didn't keep up with all the recent releases. I don't know why I just, like, stopped having <laughs> a thought while I was trying to think. So, I'm going to set a timer on my phone and read for about 30 minutes and then go blow dry my hair and then get in the bed at 9 o'clock because I'm just really tired. I think it's because I know I have a busy day tomorrow and like stuff to, I have to film a commercial at work, I have to run some errands after work, um, I have to finish a canvas, I think I'm just stressing myself out in advance so i'm gonna try to relax a little bit and read and i will share a little time lapse with y'all while i start this book <laughs> It is Wednesday, June 12th. I'm 82% of the way through Teacher of the Year. Um, I, am, I got all done up this morning because I'm filming something at work. But um, I'm really enjoying it as it progresses um, for what it is. <laughs> um, so I'm fixing to listen to about 30, 40 minutes more while I head to work. And yeah, I will update y'all as soon as I get a chance because I'm, I'm 
depending on what I'm doing today, I might be able to finish it at work. So we will see. Yo, I just got into my work lot and it is 7.42. And I'm now 88% of the way through Teacher of the Year after listening while I got ready this morning and then on the way up here. And I'm enjoying it. It's pretty, it's kind of just average. Like, and I kind of just wanted a lighthearted little silly thing to listen to. Like, I kind of just picked it on a whim yesterday. I feel like I might finish it today. Um, so, we will see. But, yeah. It, like, it's one of those books where I'm kind of just like, why don't we all just go to therapy? How about that? So, I'm going to get out of my car, head to my office, and get started for the day. And if I get to do any more listening today before I head home in the afternoon, I'll update you on how I feel. It's currently 622 and I just got home from work for the day because I stopped and ran some errands after work today. Um, please ignore how hunched over I am. I did not feel like setting up a tripod or anything to make my phone higher because I'm fixing to do something else. But I just kind of wanted to update y'all on what I have read for today. Um, I finished uh, Teacher of the Year by M.A. Wardell today. I finished it this afternoon while I ate lunch and uh it was what I thought it would be. I don't want to give away too much of my critiques of it just because I am going to talk about all of these books in my June wrap. <laughs> um, but there are just some parts that were kind of icky. I didn't expect it to be as spicy as it was and then the ending felt really rushed to me. Yeah, I mean it wasn't like a... It was, it was entertaining. It wasn't any kind of literary masterpiece by any means at all. Um, so, I mean, I got what I thought I would out of it. It was just a quick little fun listen between books. I did not start a new audiobook on the way home, um, because I just kind of like, sometimes between audiobooks, I just like to give myself a brain break, because I also really, in, as much as I enjoy listening to audiobooks, I also enjoy listening to music. Um, so I just kind of, as like, it's almost like when I finish an audiobook as a reward, I'm like, okay, the next car ride is just going to be a fun little sing-along, listen to music type of car ride. Um, and I'm not going to start a new audiobook in the morning because my brother's going to be in the car with me. And I really only listen to audiobooks when I'm driving by myself. That way, the person that I'm riding with is not subjected to whatever book I'm listening to. So, I will pick something to start maybe tomorrow night. Because I'm going to be swimming and tanning tomorrow. So, I'm honestly not going to have a lot of time to read during the day. Because I'm going to be hanging out with Grace. Um... So I think I'm probably just going to try to read, or I might try to finish my paper book tomorrow night, depending on how much I read tonight. Everything with reading with me is very tentative because, like, if I get really into it, I could finish Kate and Waiting tonight. If not, I could finish it tomorrow. Um, just kind of depends. But I'll start another audiobook at some point for this weekend because it is only Wednesday. So, but yeah, I don't work for the rest of the week, so I do have a lot more time during the day to listen to or physically read things. So I might just take two paper books to West Memphis when I go tomorrow. We will see. But yeah, I just kind of wanted to update y'all that I finished my second audiobook for the week. Except I really listened to a book of I Was Born for This before I started this vlog on Monday. Hey guys, it is Mac, and sorry I did not update y'all very much yesterday or today. Yesterday I had a pretty busy day. Um, I went to my friend's house to watch Bridgerton, um, with Claire and Grace, and then, Cl or not Claire, Grace came over here to swim, so I had a pretty packed day, and I pretty much read nothing yesterday. I read, like, maybe 10 pages, but today is Friday, and I also have been kind of just reading and having a lazy day all day, but today I went ahead and finished Kate and Waiting by Becky Albertelli, um, and I really, really enjoyed this one. I don't, again, I don't want to give too many thoughts because I am going to do a June reading wrap-up, but really enjoyed the light-hearted, the at yeah, well, theatrical setting. Grammar. All right. I enjoyed the theater setting in this, and it was a very, this is the kind of lighthearted, coming of age, little just like cutesy, pleasing romance that I had expected out of Teacher of the Year. Um, um, but I really enjoyed this. Super cute little friendships. All of the end game couples made sense to me. Everything wrapped up very well. Very cute, solid read. I expect nothing less from Miss Becky Albertelli. But I just wanted to go ahead and let y'all know that I finished this. So just to wrap up this vlog, I finished four books this week. Two that I had started previous and then I, so I finished four titles this week. Two that I had started the week before and I had also finished two additional titles that I started this week. I'll pop each other one over here. 
Um, but that is the end of this vlog because I would vlog and say that I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to read tonight slash the Saturday and Sunday. So it would be a full week. But honestly, I really want to go ahead and edit this vlog to get it up tomorrow, which is Saturday morning if you're watching this right after it posts. If you have made it to the end of this vlog, thank you so much for watching and comment down below your favorite snack. <laughs> Mine would be right now it's those sour airhead bites with the white like chewy filling in the middle those are so good and i kind of want some now but yeah thank you so much for watching if you're not already please hit that like and subscribe button and turn on the notification bell that way you get notified every single time i post hope you had a good one hope everyone's loving it and see you next time bye